Welcome to my channel, The Fan Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks, and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet, and much more. Today, we'll be learning how to mold this cinnamon fascinator. Now the first thing I do is to measure my mold. Mold is 7 inches. I add an extra 2 inches. That's 9 inches. This is what I'm going to use to cut the cinnamon. After that, I cover my mold with nylon. This to make sure that my mold doesn't spoil. That's we're going to be using water with the cinnamon to mold. You know, water doesn't do well with wood. After that, we use our oil base to paint, so to speak, our nylon. This is to ensure that our molded fascinator comes out freely from the mold. Once you're done, the next thing to do is to cut out that 9 inches that we measured of cinnamon. Now I'm going to be doing a two-layered cinnamon. So it means I'm going to be cutting two pieces of 9 by 9 inches of cinnamon Okay, that's ready. So the next thing we do is to get our this uh, um, stiffener. I use stiffener when I'm molding um, cinnamon instead of top bond. Then I add a little water, not much, as my stiffener already had some water in it. So after I'm done, that's the texture that I want. I would dip my cinnamon into the stiffener make sure that it covers touches every area of my cinnamon now remember i told you it's two layered cinnamon that i'm going to do so i'm going to be doing it to the two of them okay once that's done we'll take one of the cinnamon and put on top of the mold and the other one you turn it diagonally where it stretches can you see and you put now this gives it a fine finishing plus it enables you to stretch it on the mold to have a good finishing so what we're checking now is to make sure that the cinnamon covers the mold on all corners so you have to position the mold well with the cinnamon to ensure that it covers up Now we're going to be using our thumbnail to pierce the four corners first of all. Now we're doing this to ensure we have a round shape as in seamless. So you do the four corners first, not south, east and west. If you watched our um, how to mold with um, pad, you would have noticed we did the same thing. That gives us a wonderful, lovely round finishing. So that's what I'm doing now. Then you start grabbing each of the corners after you have finished the four, like I'm doing like that. After you grab it, then you put your thumbnail. So that's what we're going to do to all those other spaces we have not done. You grab like so, make it smooth, and put your thumbnail on it. If you've gained knowledge from this video, please do press the like button. Don't want to miss out on any of my impactful videos, click the subscribe button and also the bell to notify you of any of my new videos coming up soon. Thanks and keep watching.
that's it so we're gonna put this out in the sun to dry